welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia, a self-taught designer, hand letterer, and illustrator. In today's video, I wanna share 10 quick tips that is super helpful for those who's just starting out in Procreate. I once was a, a beginner myself, and for me to learn this quick tips and tricks, it took me some time, so I thought it'll be a good idea to kinda of create a summarized video of the 10 tips uh, that could be helpful to you if you're a complete beginner of Procreate. If this is something that interests you, keep on watching. So the first thing I wanna show you is the undo redo function. So let's say for example, I have this cute cloud and I wanna go ahead and draw a leg and then a hand like this a arm. But if I don't like that last arm I drew, you just need to use two fingers, tap it once, that will quickly undo. If you wanna bring it back, you can just use three fingers and tap it once and that will redo. For the next one, I'm just gonna show you a quick copy paste option here. So I'm gonna try to make a friend to this cloud. So all I'm gonna do is just select that cloud. So I'm just gonna click on this arrow icon here. And then you're gonna use three fingers, swipe it down, and it will give you the copy paste option. So I'm gonna click on copy, and then I'm gonna paste, and it will paste on top. If you look at the layers panel, you will see it will automatically uh, paste it into a separate layer. So I'm just gonna select that, and then you could flip it. There's also an option here called Flip Horizontal, and there you go, you have the quick copy and paste. Another thing that you can do quickly is creating a perfect lines or shape. So you can grab any brush. Let's say, for example, I wanna draw a line for this um, ground. I can draw a line, but I'm gonna tap once to undo, if I were to draw a line and then hold down, it will create a perfect line. Also, it works the same for shapes too. So let's say I wanna draw a little um, sun in this case, I'm gonna just draw a circle. And if you hold it down, it'll make a good looking circle. But another thing is if you wanna make a perfect circle, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a circle like this, hold it down, and then with the other finger, I'm just gonna press it down, that'll make a perfect circle. Works the same way with the square as well. Again, you're just gonna go ahead and create some kind of, let's say rectangle, whatever, and you hold it down, it'll make that nice line. But if I were to use the other finger, it'll create that perfect looking rectangle. The next one is about the colors. So let's say I wanna use that exact same blue color in my cloud. There's something called a eyedropper tool. So all you need to do is just use one finger, touch on that color and hold it down and it will automatically select that color for you. So that's an eyedropper tool. Another long way to go about doing this, if you go here, there's a little um, square button right there. If you press on that, it actually gives you the airdropper tool where you could uh, move around and select the color, but the quickest way is just hold that color, grab that color and hold it down and you will use, get that color. So the next one is to quickly fill in the color. So one way to color is you could possibly just go in and start coloring like this, but the easiest way to do it is, again, use your eyedropper tool, select the color you want, and then all you need to do is just grab the color and drop it in, and that will fill in the color for you. There's also a way to uh, create your own color palette. So what you do is you go to this color section right here. If you click on it, it will show up with the palette. So simply, you just click on this plus sign right here. That will create a new color palette. So for example, if I would like to create a color palette with yellow and sky blue right here, you just go ahead and select that color using an eyedropper tool and just simply click on it and that will include it in that color palette. Same thing here. If you wanna change your mind and delete it, you can just go ahead and press it down. That will give you the delete option. You could also move this around. Oops, hold on to that and you can move it around to anywhere you want. Um, and you could easily share it or delete it if you don't want it. Next quick tip is about layers. So you could merge layers and group layers. So I'm gonna show you how to merge it really quick. So let's say if you go to this panel right here, it gives you all the layers. So I have a layer for a first cloud, layer for the second cloud, and then the layer for the ground. So let's say I wanna go ahead and merge them together. Uh, one way to do it is you can select on the first one, click on it, and then you could merge it down and then do the same thing. So that way you merge it all together. Another quick way to do it is you just simply grab those three layers and then pinch it in and that'll go ahead and merge the layer for you. 
There's also a way to group it. So if you don't wanna merge it and you just wanna group the layers, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and select that. Again, another one way to do it is you click on it and you can just go ahead and combine down instead of merge down and that will go ahead and create a new group. And then you can select the next one and just grab it and put it in until you see that blue bar light up and that will go ahead and create a new group for you. A quicker way to do this is you select all the ones that you want to group it. So you select the first one and then you swipe to the left, swipe to the left, and then you just group, group it that way and that also creates a new group. Okay, so here's another thing that I want to quickly show you. So let's say, for example, I am doing this hand lettering and in this instance, I don't want to draw this L again, but I want to just copy it right next to it. There's a function called um, magnetic. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that word. So I'm in this case, I'm just going to grab the L. So use the selection tool, grab it. And then as I showed you, I'm just going to use three swipe down, copy, and then I'm going to paste it. Now I'm, I want to go ahead and move this exactly right next to it without uh, changing the angle or the size of it. There's a function called magnetics down here. If you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and create that blue line so it's exactly moving next to it without distorting the size. So if you need something to move right next to each other, whether it's a lettering or an illustration without affecting the size and the angle, then this is the great tool for you. So the next quick tip I wanna show you is changing the opacity. So let's say for example, I wanna lower the opacity for one of the clouds. So typically what you do is you go find that cloud and then you click on the button N right here. If you click on it, it gives you an option for a blending mode and um, you could control your opacity. So you could typically go ahead and lower the opacity that way. There's actually a quicker way of doing it. So what you wanna do is you select the layer and then you're gonna use a two finger and you're gonna double tap on the layer. Once you do that, it gives you option, slide to adjust and when you slide, that changes the opacity as well. Okay, last but not least, typically when you go ahead and create a canvas, so let's say for example, when you go into Procreate, there's a plus sign right here and then you could select a canvas. So you could select any canvas size you want, um, but let's say, for example, you created a canvas, but you change your mind, then there's an option to resize your canvas. So you're going to go ahead and click on this tool icon right here. And once you go in, there is an option for canvas right here. So you're going to click on this option next to add, click on that, and then there's an option for a crop and resize. So once you go in here, you could manually type in um, your pixels or whatever you needs to be, or you could just go ahead and use this bar in order to resize your canvas that way. Once you're done, you can just click done and then it will crop the canvas for you. All right, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.